Hey there, YouTube. Two Extreme MX here. Going a little out of the norm here. I'm actually what I'm gonna show you is uh, uh, I know most of you know that I'm from New York, and the weather up here has not really been that great this year. It's been a little chilly. Um, we've had a f quite a few good, and really nice days, but um, I have one of these Intex pools that's you know they're not really all that great at warming up in the summertime. Uh, plus the fact that I have this nasty surrounding of trees plus this great big huge thing in my backyard so I do not get a lot of light. Um, right now it's about 6 o'clock uh, probably about 6.30 and as you see my pool is not getting a lot of sun. Um, I do get a couple good hours you see an opening right there. Um, I get probably about three hours of good sunlight blazing down on the pool, but it's usually not enough to warm it up. So what I did is I actually went out and went out and built this. My own personal solar heater for my pool. Um, basically what it is is just a couple 2x4s and a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. I spray painted the plywood black. Um, got me a couple of 50 foot rolls of garden hose and just um, basically zip tied it down. Um, actually I believe I have 350 feet total of garden hose right there. And um, Walmart had a cheap price on the garden hose. It was only like uh, $7.99 or something like that for 50 feet. So I picked up I believe it was like seven rolls of it. Yeah, it was seven rolls of it. And picked up a couple cans of spray paint um, because it was yellow garden hose, as you'll be able to see here. You can still see it there. I still got to paint it a little bit more, but uh, mostly looking down, you know, directions that the sun beats down on it, it's pretty good and painted black to absorb some of the sunlight. Um, this has been, it hasn't really got too much sun today because it did rain, but it does get pretty warm when it gets, when it rains. Um, what I usually do is I tend to leave it off, um, what I have here for a pump is, just have this little 12 volt transfer pump that hooks right into my bottom of my pool use the uh, the drain piece that came with my pool for draining and I just put a little on off thing there for any time I wanted to take the hose off or disconnect the pump and got a car battery I charge that every two days um, basically the process when I use my solar heater is is I usually run it for about 20 minutes and then leave it off for about half an hour not to an hour and I'll show you actually what the temperature of my pool is right now um, let me see here pool temperature is I'd say about 74 and 75 degrees right now well, what I'll do is I'll turn the pump on and show you even with the limited amount of sun that's on that solar panel. All I do is I just hook it right up. See? Pump's pumping it through. Bring the hose out. And there's the water. Now what I'm gonna do, or what I'm gonna try and do here, without getting my camera wet, so I'm going to try and hold this so that way I can show you again. Drain this out. It's showing 74. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the water through and show you with no sun I'm getting no real sun blazing down on it. I'm getting about 80 to 82 degrees coming out of that heater. Now when the sun's out really good I can get probably 
anywhere from 120 to 140 degrees out of that hose and I usually run the hose for about 15 minutes to 15 minutes to half an hour um, depending on how hot the water is and how hot the hose is when I check it but that's my little unit um, I originally started two days ago um, because of the cold weather we recently had the temperature in my pool got down to 68 degrees and I started about two days ago even with the rain and the cloudy weather I managed to get the temperature up to 74 using my little solar heater um, before it got cold and we got all the rainy weather I had the temperature up to 81 and that was within less than a week originally when I checked the pool before I started using the solar heater it said that the temperature was like 64 65 degrees when I started but figured I'd show you that little project that I did and you can actually see the water comes from the bottom of the pool where it's the coldest runs over here to the pump and goes through the yellow hose right up and you can see where the paint starts it goes right up into the solar heater it goes through the solar heater and then I have a hole drilled and the hose comes back down, down across the ground, and right into the pool. It's a simple little unit. Cost me um, probably about all the material and paint and all that. Probably cost me about maybe $100 to do. But for a unit that has 200 feet, of hose area uh, most pool stores want you to spend about three hundred dollars and that's like I said it's only two hundred feet of um, hose area and I believe it's only half inch hose that they use this is actually five eighths inch um, garden hose so a little bit more um, water flow but this is just a little something that I did to help our pool warm up for uh, some night swims and stuff like that. But I figured I'd throw this video together, show you what it did. Maybe it'd give you guys some ideas on how to warm up your pools. Uh, again, this is Two Extreme MX, and have fun riding.